What up? This is Rama Screen, the Jackal's Red Carpet with Cassie. How you doing? Hello. Hi. Good. So what's it feel like to be part of this project? Oh, amazing. I was absolutely thrilled to be cast and it was a great experience and everybody, the cast and crew that I got to work with, just awesome. Yeah. Uh, were you always a fan of horror? Oh, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I have loved horror ever since I was a little girl. I was always one of the weird girls, like just, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's 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 kind of a dream come true to be in a horror film. This is my first one, so you know, yeah. The thing with horror films is sometimes, you know, either Jason or Freddy, they're just unkillable. Is the, are the bad guys here unkillable too? Um... I mean, I would have to say you'll have to see. Okay, no spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers here. <laughs> but your character is part of the cult or not? Um, she is not. Oh, okay. No. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> so what are some of your favorite horror movies in the past? Oh, um, oh, I would say probably Nightmare on Elm Street because oh, it's just a classic. Um, the Halloween movies, you know, just yeah. the slasher, gore, the Saw movies, definitely. Of course, the ones that Kevin directed too. <laughs> well, Halloween's around the corner. What's your costume this year? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's so stressful. I'm always late, you know? It always happens. I'm always like, I'm going to plan ahead. And then it's like a, the day before and I'm like, oh, I don't have a costume yet. So I don't know, it's still up in the air. We'll see. I'll probably be a cat again. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh here's a fun question what do you think the world needs more of Ooh, um love i think for sure i think there's a lot of hate in the world right now and it's affecting a lot of people and i just think if we all just tried to love each other as human beings and treat each other as human beings i think that would solve a lot of problems hi my name is cassie hernandez and you're watching rama's screen Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, so what's it feel like now to see your vision on the screen? Uh, it's amazing. It's I can't even kind of put a label on it. I can't even really say what it feels like. It, it's, it's surreal. It's something, this was a script that I wrote 10 years ago. Wow. And it's been around and it's been something that I've been trying to get made and different directors have come and gone. Toby Hooper, who just passed away, was the original director on it um, 10 years ago. And I really wish he could have lived to have seen it. And, um, so that is bumming me out, but it's, it's a bittersweet thing. Um, but honestly, like I've been living with it for so long that it was something that had, that existed in my head. It was something where the characters were there and, and the situations were there and the scenes were there. And so to watch it play out in ways that I wasn't expecting and to see great, great actors, Jonathan Sheck, yeah. Stephen Dorff, Deborah Kara yes. Unger, these are great, great actors to see them in there, just giving their all. And to, I was there for all the shooting and to watch them bring this thing to life. It was amazing. It was a really emotional experience for me and something that I will never forget. Did uh, the director, Kevin, did he put his own stamp too or did he follow the script faithfully? He followed the script. He was very, very faithful. Uh, we we worked on the script together oh, okay. to get it to where he wanted it. So there was a lot of work that was done, a lot of discussions that were done between me and Kevin and Tommy Alastor, the producer. Um, we worked on it very closely to get it so that, I mean, when you have a script and you're a screenwriter, there's, there's the version of it that you want, but then there are practical uh, realities, there are experience things. I mean, Kevin's a, an editor and a director, he come, came from editing. He knows certain things, he knows that there are certain things that are going to work or not work a certain way. And so he will come in and instill certain notes and instill certain visions. Um, but he made it his own and he had a vision for this which was every parent's kind of worst nightmare. There are kind of parental uh, terrors all throughout. It's like kind of the theme running through the whole thing. And that was the theme he wanted to get to nail. And I think that he stuck with it and it's, it's there in the finished film. Last question. I'm a big fan of horror. We were so saddened by Toby Hooper's passing. What, if you can say in a few words, the legacy that Toby Hooper left behind for this genre and, and you as a talent yourself. He had such a huge impact on me before I met him as a filmmaker uh, between Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Salem's Lot and Poltergeist and Funhouse and Life Force and all these movies, huge impact as a horror, I'm a horror guy, I'm a hardcore horror guy, obviously. And so he had a huge impact on me and I was a gigantic, gigantic fan of his. And then I had the amazing luxury, the amazing uh, uh, pleasure of getting to work with him. We worked on this for two years in 2006 and 2007. We worked on a couple of other projects together. And he taught me so much 
and he was such an amazing, kind, humble, quiet guy. But he was also very funny, and I would just get him to tell me stories. We would be talking about the script, we would be talking about other projects we were working on, and then I would say, so, Salem's Lot, like, what was up with the, you know, how did you do the thing with the, with the lenses? Or, or, you know, oh, what about this thing? Or he would just tell these amazing stories, or talk about, talking about Poltergeist, or talking about any of those movies that he did. And so to hear the stories directly from him and to know that I was working with him, it was something that I can't put a price tag on. It was amazing. Last question. Will there be the next Toby Hooper around? Oh, who knows? I don't think anybody can match that. I think that we'll have some, some good quality filmmakers that will come along and do their damnedest, but I don't think we'll ever have another Toby Hooper. <laughs>